Uh, and second, I want to thank the candidates. I want to thank all the candidates who put themselves out. Uh, and, and, and what I'd like to do is, if, if they're still here, raise your hands. Uh, I'd like to give you all each a big hand. Ron Farron, Mike McFadden, Ken Boyd. tremendous amount of work and sacrifice, and I don't say that lightly, it's personal, because you believe in what you're doing, and you spend a lot of time away from your family, away from the things that you enjoy, you spend a lot of time away from your work, income that's foregone as a consequence, you take a lot, it takes a lot to run a good campaign, we've got six people who have run excellent campaigns, and make no mistake, and I don't have to tell you this because you know this, but they have been doing this for the last eight months because they believe deeply that our country is in peril and they believe deeply that something must be done to change that. And so I'm grateful to them for the sacrifices that they have made. And let me also say this, and Rachel hit on this, you know, the 5th District Republican debate, you know, for far too long in Washington, D.C., uh, we have allowed, we have allowed our government and our representatives to get away with too much and it's been going on for too long. For too long, we haven't asked the hard questions that have been asked in this campaign. Amen. For too, for too long, we have allowed uh, our representatives to say one thing at home and do something different in Washington. Yeah. And that is where we are today, and that is why the debate has been so important. It has been so important for all of us. You know, the reporters ask from time to time, well, isn't it something that you have seven, seven people? I say, it's great to have seven candidates in this race. And the reason is, is it shows the enthusiasm, the enthusiasm that we all have, and the seriousness we all have about taking back our country in November, on November 7th. So I am grateful to each of these candidates for everything that they have given. And I am proud to have their support. I'm proud to have their gracious, gracious responses that we've received from each of the campaigns. And I've talked to just about all of the, all the candidates, and I'm just proud to have your support, and thank you so much for your commitment to the future of the country. Finally, let me just say this. I want to thank each of you all here. Those of you who work for the Hurt Campaign, those who have worked for every other campaign, those who may not have worked for a campaign yet, I want to thank each of you for your commitment to the future of this country, because there, let's make no mistake about it, this election is about nothing less. It is about the future of our country. It's about the future for our children and our grandchildren. Because if you look up in Washington, you can see a crowd that is more concerned about the next election than they are the next generation. One of the reasons that I love uh, campaigning in Albemarle and Charlottesville is because of the tremendous history that we have here. Because, and, and as a member of the legislature and as a proud Virginian, I, I know this, that the history of the United States really is the history of Virginia. And the greatest minds, the most courageous of our, of our founders came from right here in, in, in the Commonwealth, and many of them from right here. James Madison, Thomas Jefferson, Patrick Henry, folks that understood the founding principles obviously better than, 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 than any of anyone. They understood that our government had to be founded on limited government, on free markets and individual liberty. They knew it because they had escaped tyranny and they had the courage to sacrifice their, their lives, their, their sacred honor, and their treasure to fight for a country that we now have. And it's our responsibility, it's our duty, uh, now that we've, been, we, that we've been blessed with, it's our duty to stand up for those things today and make sure that we preserve those uh, for the next generation. Friends, there's no question that our future of our country is at risk. It depends on each and every one of us, each and every one of us, to pull together today, moving forward, all of the phone, folks who've made phone calls, all the folks who have put up signs in the last eight months, all the folks that have done the hard work of campaigning and run good campaigns. We all have to go, come together and unite to send Tom Perriello home on November <laughs> Be here today. 
to continue to campaign. I'm going to make everyone here proud. We're going to run a good, strong campaign. We can't do it without you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless the Commonwealth. And God bless America. Thank you.